in this video, I'm going to be replacing one of the old camper lights with one of these newer LED lights I picked up offline. And uh, I'm going to show you how easy it is. Um, pretty much, it's only going to need one to two things. First is a screwdriver. I got one of these multi ones. And then next that you might need is some kind of pliers, preferably like needle nose. And that's just to help get the wires out of the roof or out of the ceiling, I should say. So first things first, go ahead and take the cover off. As you can see, it's really not in that good a condition. It's put up here in 1986. Uh, I've got four screws holding this up. Now, even though this is just 12 volts and it won't do a whole lot uh, it's always a good idea to either a make sure the switch is turned off on the wall if it's connected to one or pull the fuse hit the breaker whatever it takes to kill the power just to make sure you're completely safe and depending on how long the light fixture's been up here you may want to put something down where you're working so it catches anything that might fall. Any dust, wood pieces, whatever. All right, so I got all four screws out. This thing's just hanging here. Now this is what I was talking about with possibly needing some pliers. There's wire nuts up inside the ceiling that you need to grab a hold of. And just having these little pliers will make it easier to get it out. And you can tell how much I'm struggling here with the pliers, about how hard it would be to try to get it out with just your fingers. Alright, got them both down. Now, the wiring your travel trailer may be different than this, but because this travel trailer is wired as far as color coding goes, uh, it's the same as a house. So you have the, uh, basically the black would be positive, the white would be negative. The house, you know, this would be the common and this would be the hot. All right, so basically what we're just gonna do is we're gonna take this out. Install this new light. Uh, you're going to have to get this cover off here. This comes with its own screws. There you go. Got the cover off. So what you do with these is just take them and you untwist them. You twist them to the left, depending on you know how you know how to do this. Righty tighty, lefty loosey. This is to the left. Same thing with this other one. All right, so that's down. new one up there now it did come with some of the sheathing already taken off but I went ahead and stripped off more just for a better connection and on this guy um, you know positive red negative black Took up the way it was. In this case, the positive was yellow. Then you take the wire nuts and you screw them down. Just the opposite of how you took them off. You know, righty tighty, lefty loosey. So twist them to the right. Now this is where you really have to do a good job. I mean, just really twist that down. 
You give the slight a bit of a yank on both wires, make sure they're in there. Now the one that I purchased did come with some new wire nuts, but with the gauge of the wires that are up in the ceiling, decided to go ahead and just reuse these. Which as long as they're in good condition, you can use them again. Yanks, got any screws, you just take it, place it how you want it, you want to place it this way, then you get those wires shoved back up in there. It's a lot easier to get them back up in there than it is to pull them out. There we go. dust here we got holes for the old one so I'm gonna place it just so it covers the front holes the back holes you can still kind of see but you have to get back here to see them but that's how that guy's gonna be and if you can't quite get through the ceiling with these screws you can always pre-drill your holes. You know, it's not gonna hurt anything. You just be careful that you don't go in too far and end up getting any of the wires damaged. All right. Put the cover back on. And this one's controlled by a switch, so I gotta go turn the switch on. <coughs> and there we go. So much better. Wow, that is amazing. I love it. Yeah, it was really simple. It took about five minutes to put it in. Um, if you're interested in these lights themselves, I'll have a link down in the description. Uh, I found single ones like this, and then they also have the dual ones with lights on both sides. Um, I'm going to be replacing more of these camper lights with these lights. That definitely makes a world of difference. All right. If you know somebody who can get value out of this video, go ahead and share it with them. Uh, I hope this helped you out. Uh, if you like what you see and you want to see more, go and hit that subscribe button. And until next time, keep kicking up dust. Bo shizzle.